Hello everybody, there is a new muscle car out, and I could take it on a racetrack, or at the airport like I usually do, but since this muscle car is different, I took it to the heart of the muscle car, Los Santos Industrial. <laughs> Okay, I think we gotta figure out just how fast this new Deviant really is. Whoa! That's 0 to 60 in less than 4 seconds! Alright, let's see how fast. It's 60, 70, 90, 100, 105, 110! 120 miles an hour. Where do I break? Where do I break now? Oh, okay, it's a heavy car. That's not as fast as I thought it would be, truth be told. For a muscle car, I thought it would be a little bit faster. But you see, there's a reason why it's not as fast. You see... The new muscle cars are pushing 650, 700 horsepower. This, well, while it does have a massive 6 liter supercharged V8, it only produces 580 horsepower, which is a lot, but not a colossal lot. So where do you get the value for your $500,000? Well, I went back on the circuit and had a bit of fun. I see that was not a spin, that was intentional. And you see, this thing, while it is quite heavy, almost two tons, it doesn't really matter because all that power goes to the rear wheels and you can just chuck it through the corners. It's a really chuckable car. Just look at this. Ah, ah, ah. That is what you want in a muscle car. Who cares about grip when you can just go sideways everywhere? Oh, this is a this is a brilliant laugh of a car. <laughs> ah. And yes, it is very fun to drive. But what if you want to take things a bit more serious and do some proper high-speed cornering? Alright, let's see how we go. 100 miles an hour here, get on the brakes, and woo! A little bit of sideways action, the misstep is not too bad, though. It is very heavy, and the tires are, well, pretty much standard, nothing special about them. But it's not doing too bad All right now, not doing too bad. Let's turn it, whoa, but the back end, oh, oh. Woo. The back end can step out and it will bite you viciously. Now to see if it has, if it really is a modern car or it's just a cheap 
not so cheap knockoff of a 70s car. I'm taking it around a very carefully designed track that weaves through the heart of Los Santos Industrial to see if it's a good around the corners as it is when it's sliding around the corners. Now to do that, I need to compare it with a car from the era. This is a De Class A Tulip valued at $700,000. It's very rare. And you can see why. It was at the time the fastest muscle car in the world. It weighed just over 3,000 pounds and had over 500 horsepower. It was an absolute rocket ship in the quarter mile. That's what it was designed for. It should do well here. It should do well here when the four miles race. We shall warm the tires up, see how it fares. Uh, 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 I, I'm sorry. Still scared of the wheel. I'm, I'm getting used to the wheelies. I'm not getting used to the surprise airtime at the very slow speeds. Heading in to the technical section, bouncing over the rail lines. We are clear. Now be wary of the dunes. Uh, we're good. Try. Uh, I'm, I said. Try to not get the back end. Try to not get the back end stepping out. Christ, it just wants to slide every which way. One more straightaway to go. Go through the fence. Uh, there time. Go through the second fence. Uh, keep your foot down. Keep your foot down. And we are across the line on the brakes. Oh, and breathe. It's a good thing I put those stop sticks there, or I would have flown off. Whew. Okay, time for the Deviant's turn. It does have more power and more modern, it's more advanced, more modern. But it weighs almost half a ton more, surprisingly. So it'll be interesting to see how fast this thing will go. Alright, get it ready, get those tires run up, try to get some grip in those rear tires, because this needs to be a fast run. And we're off! Okay, good start, very low wheel spin. Now, let's see how the first corner, ooh, nope, first corner still sliding, still a little sliding in this car, we still don't quite have enough heat in the tires. Now, we might be a little faster than here, no, we're about the same. Turn it in. It has good turn, and I'll give credit where credit is due. The turn in is quite good. The rear end, though, slides a little much. And of course, uh, it's very wide. It's very difficult fitting through these little alleyways. Alright, guess on the back straight away we go. Through the fence, we're good. Duh, stop wheeling for Christ's sake. We can use our straight line speed to the cross the line. Ooh. Okay, that was close. That that was very close compared to the previous run. And the times were equally similar. The modern was faster by 1.7 seconds. And there's a few ways you can interpret that. You can interpret it that it's faster. Or that it's barely faster than this car from the 70s. But it's not about showing how fast a car can go, this thing. It's a homage to what a car was like in the past. And I don't think there's a better vehicle for the job. It is a perfect homage to the classic muscle car. And if you need any more solidation than this car's brilliance, the car I've been reviewing the whole time is the one that I bought. Right, before I go, next, next Thursday and Sunday will be a two-part special where I try to appease my motorcycle side and go on an epic motorcycle road trip sightseeing tour on a budget of just $5,000.